Hello, this is Eileen, the Environmental Educator. It's uh, December 15th, 2021. This is uh, video number two of the night. I just um, <laughs> called Project Veritas. And um, right now, we're going to recall um, not protecting our winters. We, we haven't called them and let them know we have a video about them out there. And we're going to call um, Bill McKibben's uh, Got Earth to 400 Plus again. We called them the other night. And as always, uh, imagine that since the day they opened. They haven't responded to actual real solutions that would start achieving their goals and, and and then put them out of business so that they wouldn't have to keep robbing you of the public of their donation dollars. So right now, um, here is not protecting our winters. <laughs> they, they call themselves protect our winters, but um, they have been such complete failures since they started in 2007 that the world and the ski industry keeps screaming louder and louder for more desperately needed solutions. So here we are. We're going to call their number here. Just gonna, there we go. Protect our winters. To best direct your call, please select from the following options. For operations, administrative, interview requests, or general questions, please press 1 to reach the executive and operations manager, Hannah Renicki. If you would like to reach the executive, the executive director, Mario Molina, please press 2. Oh, let's go to Mario. For questions regarding development or partnership opportunities, please press 3 to reach the VP of Development and Finance, Tori Udall. Oh, if I've emailed Tori totally a million times. You may also email info at protectourwinters.org. Okay, I do that routinely. So, what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to go to their head person, Hannah, first. We'll, we'll do Hannah, Mario, and then um, partnerships. We'll, we'll do all three, since we have a little bit of time here. They they just absolutely hate the thought of doing anything positive over here at this Mickey Mouse organization. You have reached the voicemail box of Hannah Renicki, the executive and operations manager. Please leave your name, number, and a brief message, and I will return your call as soon as possible. If you would like to send an email, I can be reached at Hannah. That's H A N N A H. At protectourwinters.org. I think I'll start Thank including her in my distribution. Day. Leave your message at the tone. Press pound when finished. Okay. Hey, Hannah. This is um, Eileen Connors, the environmental educator. Now, you're new since I, you know, just haven't bothered not protecting our winners for a bunch of years now. Um, but I'm going to start including you on my email distribution. I do include info at. And yet, since the day Not Protecting Our Winters has opened, you may be unaware of this because they keep this very secret. And Jeremy, um, you know, he, he doesn't like people to know this. Jeremy, the founder for the people. I'm recording this right here, right now. I'm making a video tonight. I'm calling you and um, that fool Bill McKibben and his God Earth to 400 plus organization and letting you know that I did a video about you the other night. It's out there on the www World Wide Web. And I, you know, let the people know what absolute frauds you are, the solutions you won't give the world since the day you opened your door, that you do absolutely nothing but not protect our winters, that the ski industry and the world do absolutely nothing but scream louder and louder for more urgently and desperately needed solutions since the day you opened because you refuse to actually do anything that is positive and would actually protect our winters and give the world environmental solutions. And here's a hint for you. It's not carbon taxing people to death. That's just tyranny. So I put that video out the other night. I'm going to start including you in my email distribution that goes out to a lot of people, a lot of environmental voices, all of which who have prevented the solutions the world needs since November 93. I have letters from Gore in the 90s stating how impressed he is with my work. But you know what? You don't get to work with Gore unless you're a complete failure who we're going to be calling your um, 
director here, Mario, who was part of Gore's complete failure of an organization, the Climate Reality Project, who does absolutely nothing like you do except rob the public of their donation dollars. So again, go out and check out environmentaleducator.org. And um, I will be, you know, I, I email, I've emailed Tori for years, your partnership guy. I'm going to call him tonight, too. And um, I email info at. And yet, since the day you opened, you will not allow solutions. So for the new year, why don't you start turn over a new leaf and actually start giving the world the solutions it needs and the ski industry the solutions it needs or close your doors and return all of the money that you have stolen from all of the people you solicit donations from. And I will be including you on my emails. We'll see if Mario gives an email out. So I'm going to go call him now. Then I'm going to go call Tori. Tori is well aware of who I am. He's gotten my emails for years. And yet the one person not protecting our winners won't partner with is the person who actually has the solutions the world needs that would have solved our problems long ago had anyone in the environmental industry allowed solutions. So I'm going to go call Mario now. Have a good day and either do your job and give the world solutions or pack up your office and close your door before the new year. <laughs> oh, this is why people love me. So I just hung up there and now we're going to call back here and we're going to go to um number two. We're going to talk to Mario. Okay, we're at 648 here. So I do try to not take up too much of your time, people. Oh, this is going to be fun talking to Mario. This is an absolute complete fool. And look at this. See right here. Now, um, Thank you, for for you cannot, you cannot comment call, on their page. The okay, number two. Operations, We're going to go to number two because we, we've already heard that. We're going to Mario. See, like pro unlike Project Veritas, they say who you're getting put through to on when you get connected to an extension. Did you notice that? Hi, this is Hannah. This is my title. Not Project Veritas. They are very, very, very secretive over there. So this is Mario. <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun. This guy is an absolute embarrassment to the world, you know, environmental betterment. That's why he has a job, because he's a complete failure. He has no solutions. He won't. Okay, hey Mario. Um, hey, this is Eileen Connors, the environmental educator. You know, I stopped bothering, um, not protecting our winners when you came on board, and oh yeah, they announced, oh my God, Mario's here. Oh my God. Well, now we'll finally have some achievement because oh my God, Mario's here. And uh, I mean, of course, my God, you came from Gore's Climate Reality Project. Except the problem with that is. Um, like protecting our winters, who has prevented the solutions the world needs since the day they opened their door. Um, Gore's climate, completely out of touch with Reality Project, has also prevented the solutions the world needs since the day they opened their door, which is, you know, why you have a job in the industry. Because the only people that get to work in the environmental industry, pretending like they care about solutions, crying out for solutions, cheerleading their absolutely complete proven failure work by every global report, by even things on Project Veritas, I mean, on Protect Our Winners own website of how dire the ski industry is for solutions. Um, you have a job because you are completely irrelevant. Your work is an absolute disgrace. You have no solutions. You have no good work. You have no ideas. You won't allow solutions. That's how you got to work for Gore, who has been preventing the solutions the world needs since shortly after November 93. And I have letters from Gore in the 90s stating how impressed he is with my work. And I got those because Joe Kennedy got me to, got me to Al and past Al staffers, and because uh, Joe was so impressed with me in my work. But since, you know, Al and Bobby and everybody else won't do anything, Joe's like, I tried, I tried, just stop bothering me. 
So um, right now, this this call, this recording is going out on the World Wide Web on a video I'm making tonight. I put out a video about what absolute complete failures not protecting our winters is because you have no solutions. You are just an absolutely embarrassment of an organization because not only does not anyone there have any intelligence and have any solutions whatsoever, when the solutions the world needs and the ski industry needs are put on your desk, you won't allow them. You prevent them, keeping you in a job, Mario, so that you can cheerlead yourself and tell everybody how great you are. You're not. You have been an absolute, complete, proven failure since you've worked with Al Gore and probably before that because you just don't get a job working for Al Gore unless you're already a complete, proven failure. The only person are not allowed in all of the environmental industry who all of the voices, you know, they all partner with each other. I'm going to call Tori next. I just called Hannah. Um, you know, Tori has gotten emails from me for years to partner with you guys. And the only person that's not allowed to is, of course, the person who has the solutions the world needs that you're that your chair of the board, Auden Schindler from uh, from Aspen, has been refusing since the 90s. OK, so like I told Anna, either turn over a new leaf and actually stop preventing the solutions the world needs or do what the world needs. Close your doors. You are nothing but a complete failure of an organization because there is not one of you there that is worth that is it, you are not worth the pollution you create driving to the office every day. OK, that is absolutely how negative results your work is. So either close your doors or give the world the solutions it needs and the ski industry the solutions it needs and I'm it. And right now I'm going to go call Tori and this too is a video out on the World Wide Web just like I put out a video about your absolute complete valueless organization the other night. Go find it. Okay so I just did no. Nope. Okay, so with Hannah, I just hung up. So now let's just call back here. We're gonna call Tori. <laughs> that was fun. That guy Mario, he is just he is just an embarrassment. That's how you get a job in the environmental industry. You are a fool with no solutions, and you are proud to prevent solutions. And if you've worked with Gore for a long time, the one, number one qualification is you don't have solutions, and you won't allow solutions. And Mario, okay. We're pressing three to go to Tori for partnerships. So we're just going to cut to the chase here. Try to respect you guys' time. I try not to make these too long. But this is how I spend my life, people. 28 years, this is how I spend my life. <laughs> it's not funny because I should be retired and living very well. And nobody should be hearing anything about the environment anymore because the environmental problems the world has should have been solved. Doesn't he sound like a nice guy? <laughs> hey, Tori. Hey, um, this is Eileen Connors, the environmental educator. Um, you know, I emailed you a, a long, long time ago, many, many, many times, not a long, long time ago. You haven't been in business that long, but I've emailed you many, many times. I'm not sure. Maybe you blocked my email because um, not protecting our winners absolutely will not partner with the one person in the world who has the environmental solutions the world and the ski industry needs. So tonight I just called Hannah and then I just called and left Mario a message I'm recording these messages. Um, it is going to, it's a, a recording I'm making right now tonight, a video. It's going out on the World Wide Web, letting the world know that I wasn't kidding when I put out a video the other night stating what preventing solutions frauds, not preventing our, win, not protecting our winters is. So, you know, we've been through this, Tori. I, I know you know who I am. You've gotten a ton of emails from me. I, I, I do think you've blocked my emails. So many people have. Um, I, I think maybe you are one. You certainly have never replied in all these years. And right now I'm showing um, your Facebook page where I am not allowed to comment because your followers and worshipers and donors 
are not allowed to know that your organization is preventing solutions frauds, that you won't do anything to protect our winters, and so they can't know it. So I'm censored from telling people. So like I told Hannah and Mario, you know, even your own website has, you know, articles about how dire the ski industry is, which just keeps getting worse and worse every year. Because since you've been in business since 2007, 14 years later, you, like everyone else, are such complete proven failures that the situation just keeps getting worse and worse and worse. You have never, ever, ever had any positive results, ever. Neither has your um, chairman of the board, Auden Schindler, who's been preventing solutions the world needs since the 90s over there in Aspen. So the only person that isn't allowed to partner with all of you people is the one person on the planet that has the solutions the world needs. So now I'm going to be leaving you messages. I got Hannah's email, Hannah at, and I, I do in, um, email info at, and I'll probably try Mario at and put him on my distribution. You, I'll, I'll try you again. I'll see if you blocked me or not. I, I do remember even scrolling through the other day and seeing, um, yeah. Fail to send to Tori at T-O-R-R-E-Y. So, Tori, uh, the world is going to start knowing that you run a fraudulent organization who will not partner with the one person who has the environmental solutions that would actually achieve and would actually protect our winters and would be a savior for the ski industry. So I'm going to hang up right now because I got to go call that um, complete fool, Bill McKibben, and his God Earth to 400 plus. I told them about their video the other night, and you know what? Since the day they've opened, they won't allow solutions either, and you know what? They also won't allow me to comment on their Facebook page because they have to keep from their worshipers and their donors what frauds they are a secret, and that's the only reason I am not allowed to comment on your Facebook page. So we'll be in touch. Okay, so I just hit pound. Okay, and we're just going to hang up, and that's that. So I'm going to make this short. Hi, thanks for calling 350.org. Please leave your name, your question, and your email address, and we'll do our best to get back to you. Thank you so much. Oh, oh, 350, got Earth to 400 plus. We'll do your best to get back to people. Well, you know what? Your best isn't really that good because I have been contacting you. I am Eileen Connors, the environmental educator. I called you the other night. I haven't bothered you in a while because I just don't have all the time in the world to keep harping on every environmental voice who just won't allow solutions like God Earth to 400 plus has done since the day you opened your doors. Yet I do email um, Bill. I do email, um, no, I can't even, May, May. And, um, uh, you know, right now on the screen, this is this recording here. This phone message tonight is uh, going to be out on a video on the www World Wide Web. And I do have your Facebook page up here showing that not only can I not um, post on 350, dot org's pages but suddenly somehow after you didn't even let me post on your pages so that i tell your worshipers and your followers and your donors who you rob of their donation dollars that you are preventing solutions frauds who has never ever ever had any positive impact since you have been in business to get earth to 350 yet earth has done nothing but go up and up and up or co2 um, has done nothing but go up and up and up since <laughs> how many people do you have on staff and there is not one of you who is competent and um, the only person in the world who has the solutions the world needs isn't allowed to partner with all of you people because that keeps all of you in a job I guess I I'm not sure you just never get back to me and you won't allow solutions and now the only thing I can even see on Facebook is a bunch of your, you know, satellite offices. But when I search 350.org, your main office, your main, you know, website organization just doesn't even come up. 
And that's that means that after someone blocked me from commenting on your Facebook post, then they just completely made it so that I couldn't even see your Facebook page to see what absolute propaganda you're distributing out there. But as I say, Bill and May, they're on my distribution, my email distribution quite often, along with every other environmental voice out there that won't allow solutions. And I'm going to keep harping on you. And I'm going to keep putting it out there on the World Wide Web and letting the world know that you are frauds, that you won't allow solutions, that you are, as, as is stated with every global environmental report, complete proven failures. And what you do is you go to work every day. Goodbye. They, they know what I was going to say. So I guess I said too much there and that call was over. So, OK, stay tuned. We will have more calls to come. And tomorrow we're going to call Jay Inslee's office while they're actually at work. And we're going to talk and see, um, watch them squirm, really, is what we're going to do. So stay tuned, people. This is the truth that you're only going to get here because no news and not even Project Veritas will tell you this truth.